Hello, my fellow Odooers. My name is Jose Ignacio. I hope you're all ready to learn more awesome stuff about the Odoo Subscriptions app, because I know I am. Now, today, I'm going to teach you how to generate even more revenue from your loyal subscribers through the use of upselling. We're going to really squeeze them. Now, for those of you who may not know, upselling is a sales practice used to motivate existing customers to buy additional competing products or services at a premium value. Now, the primary goal of upselling is to deepen the relationship with the customer by offering them more value, thereby increasing their overall lifetime value. However, despite their similarities, upselling shouldn't be confused with cross-selling, and I'm doing an act so that you know that, which is actually the practice of persuading customers to buy complementary, non-competing products. It's like when you're buying a pair of socks to go with your cool new shoes. The main goal of cross-selling is to increase that specific transaction's one-time order value. Makes sense, right? Now with Odoo, we can easily upsell subscriptions that are already in progress and conveniently keep track of all sales orders related to that original subscription on a single page. All right, so enough jibber-jabbering. Let's jump into the Stealthy with database and see just how simple it is to upsell subscriptions with Odoo. All right, doers, let's kick things off on the subscriptions dashboard. And while we're in the default Kanban view, let's direct our attention over here to this in progress stage. Now, this is where we'll find all of the subscriptions that are, well, as you guessed it, they're in progress. Anyways, since we can only upsell a currently active subscription, we'll want to grab one of these sales orders to see how upselling works. So we're going to take the only one there. Perfect. All right. Now, here we are. Inside of the sales order, there are a few things that I wanted to show you. I'm sure most of these elements look familiar to you. We've got order lines, notes, other info, and all that stuff. But if they don't look familiar to you, make sure to check out our other tutorial videos for the subscriptions application to better familiarize yourself with everything going on here. All right, let's take a quick look at the products in the order lines tab. It seems like we'll find that all the products that were previously purchased by this customer and there's something very interesting. You'll notice that there is a recurring product or subscription for office cleaning services. And then there's one item that is a non-recurring product. And it is a one-time purchase. And it is a awesome drawers. I have a few of these myself in my house. Now, you may be asking yourself, Jose, why are you showing us both of these product types? Who cares? Ah, well, I hear you. Don't worry. There's a reason for this. So let's go along with all of the other information on the subscription order form. And you'll notice that there is a series of actionable buttons that are located along the top. Starting from the rightmost, we have close, send by email, create an invoice, renew, and drum roll. Well, I can't really do a drum roll, but you get the point. Upsell, just what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click that now and see what happens next. And once that that loads, you'll notice immediately there's a few things that have changed on this subscription order. Good eye. Well, first of all, if you look at the order lines tab again, something has been removed. You'll realize that the drawers product is no longer there. That's because when you're upselling from a subscription order, only the recurring products will carry over to the new sales order you're creating for the upsell. After all, the customer doesn't need a steady supply of non-subscription products. Like, I can't think of that many people who need a steady supply of drawers. But anyways, it was a one-time purchase. And no worries, that only frees up space for some serious upselling outdoers. So let me show you that right now. All right, it's time to add some upsell products to this subscription order. Now to do that, all we have to do is add our desired products to the order lines tab in the exact same way that we'd add products to any sales order by using the add a product actually section over here and just clicking it and here's a fun fact about upselling a subscription you can actually add another recurring product or a standard non-recurring product if you want so why not do both in our case we're gonna do one of these subs that we have a car lease that's a subscription and we're also going to do a large cabinet because what goes better with a car lease a large cabinet now, you'll also notice in addition to what happened earlier, there's a note beneath the original sub that basically tells us, hey, Oda wants to let you know that it is taking into account any discounts on the original order 
and the prorated price of the upsell order at the same time. So the customer is never double charged for a subscription or given the wrong price. Now talk about multitasking, no doers. And that's perfect. Now let's confirm this and boom, we're done. Everything is ready to go. And also, as you'll notice on this upsell sales order, you'll actually find that the recurring tag that we had up here has now swapped over to an upsell because it is to reflect the current status of the original sales order. And that's pretty dang convenient. And right above it, you'll notice there's actually a sales smart button up here that lists some stuff and let's click it. And what does that do with doers? Clicking that takes us to a separate page showcasing all of the sales orders related to the initial subscription. If we actually select any of these, if we wanted to, we can actually look at them and it'll take us directly there. And now we could see everything complete with all of the order details, but that's not all though doers. I've got one more trick up my sleeve. I should say another upsell trick, you know, in this case, another upsell. All right, I'm a sucker for bad jokes and I'm terrible. But anyways, if you want a complete overview of all upsells in the subscriptions application, all you actually have to do is click subscriptions and you guessed it, upsells. And it'll show you all of them in our database along with the pertinent information related to each one. And there you have it, Odooers. That's how you upsell everything inside of Odoo. And you can do all of that with just a few clicks. And if you're like me, you'll probably want to learn as much about this awesome subscriptions application as possible. So be sure to check out all of our other subscription tutorials and as well as the documentation. But that's all for now, Odooers. Go grab a snack.